Nancy Pelosi is on the attack again when it comes to President Donald Trump. She did say that she is planning to, in some way or another, use the 25th Amendment against the President of the United States. If you guys are not too familiar with the 25th Amendment, I am going to be going over that right now. Before I get started, please make sure you guys are subscribed, turn on post notifications so you can see when I post my next video. Okay, so as I've explained to you guys in previous videos, I for one am trying to get more informed of what happens in the world of politics. Now, especially when it comes to the US Constitution, it's not something that I'm too familiar with. So I just went straight to Google and Google the 25th Amendment. So here we're going to get a description of what I believe that Nancy Pelosi is planning to do to President Donald Trump. So I'm just going to read it right off of Google and you guys can search this as well to try and learn exactly what this 25th Amendment is um, if you guys would like to go through all of the sections. However, Section 3 is the one that I believe really applies in this situation and it says the following. Whenever the president transmits to the president pro tempore, hopefully I said that right, probably not, um, of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, his written declaration that he is una unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office, and until he transmits to them a written declaration to the contrary, such powers and duties shall be discharged by the Vice President as Acting President. Okay, so from hearing Nancy Pelosi's press conference today and her basically stating that there is more to follow when it comes to, 25th, to the 25th Amendment and that we should be hearing more from her tomorrow about the 25th Amendment, I really took the time to just research a little bit as you guys just saw and I figured that this is something that would apply in the case that she is planning to make tomorrow. So upon further research, um, I just basically tried to see and find another source um, just to help me better understand what may or may not happen and here's what I found. Okay, so I found this directly on the Fox News website and it says the following. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi made a dramatic announcement during her weekly press conference Thursday by telling reporters that she intends to discuss a constitutional measure to remove President Trump from office following questions regarding Trump's health as he recovers from the coronavirus. The 25th Amendment allows, a, allows for the vice president to become acting president if it is determined that the president is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office. So again, it goes back to the 25th Amendment, obviously. And here is something that Nancy Pelosi had to say. Um, she says, tomorrow, by the way, tomorrow, come here tomorrow, Pelosi said. We're going to be talking about the 25th Amendment. She did say this on her way out. She had already left the podium, and as she's walking out all dramatic, she turns around and says this. So President Donald Trump decided to take action on Twitter and actually said the following. Crazy Nancy is the one who should be under observation, he said. They don't call her crazy for nothing. Um, I mean, it's kind of funny, at least to me. Um, let me know what you guys think. But... This is for sure something that we really need to be paying attention to, especially so close to the election. I really wonder as to why Nancy is still trying so hard to remove President Donald Trump from office. Um, to me, she's just being really po problematic. And one of the reasons as to why it seems that Nancy Pelosi will be pushing the 25th Amendment against Donald Trump is because of this here. She, ha she has been on the record saying the following um, these past couple of days. Um, I think that the public needs to know the health condition of the president. Pelosi said, there's one question that he refused to answer. When was his last negative test? Pelosi said that this information is necessary in order to make a judgment about the actions that were taken after that. So again, Nancy Pelosi has been attacking President Donald Trump ever since he was diagnosed with the coronavirus. Now, specifically to this statement, the reason that it seems that she wants to know when the president last test tested negative, I guess she really wants to find out exactly when um, he was exposed to the coronavirus. And as a result from that, she wants to make sure that people know and understand that because of the coronavirus, it may be a way to explain as to why the president has been going on this attack on Twitter. Um, as you guys saw, if you guys had a chance to see my previous videos, President Donald Trump a couple of days ago actually said that he wanted to hold off on any types of stimulus talks. However, it did seem like a strategy, at least to me in, in my point of view, to get the Democrats to lower the amount they were asking for. Um, and then later on, he basically said that he's ready to sign $1,200 stimulus checks if he is sent a standalone bill by Nancy Pelosi. So with that being said, um, Feel free to come up with your own opinions on what you think that Nancy Pelosi is intending. And again, please make sure you guys stay in tune and watch tomorrow. Before I end this video, I really want to know and get your opinion on what you think may 
or may not happen tomorrow again the 25th amendment we just went over it and if you guys have the time feel free to take a look at exactly what that is um go over it a couple of times just to make sure you understand it specifically and um please let me know down in the comments what you guys think that nancy pelosi is planning for tomorrow with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video